Today's Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back. Your time now is 617 and we are not even halfway through the year and it has been a pretty long year it seems like and especially the last couple of months and during Mondays we take time to just pause and reflect on how we can uh, be mindful and, and, and you know and, and take a break from all the news coverage of what's going on and joining us once again this week is Pastor Robin Robinson to uh, kind of uh, if you will let us pause and, and reflect on uh, where we should be uh, during this time. Good morning, Pastor Robinson. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Alex. It's good to be with you this morning. So let's just talk a little bit about what we're seeing over the last couple of weeks. You know, on top of dealing with this pandemic, we're also dealing with the unrest, not just in Atlanta, not just in Minneapolis, but uh, truly across the nation and actually, quite honestly, across the world. Um, what is your message for people trying to still comprehend what's happening. It has been about three weeks uh, since the death of George Floyd. Um, we saw the unrest in, in, in Atlanta over the weekend. What is your message to the people who are just trying to comprehend what's going on? Well, I think, I think we're all feeling it and, and even quite honestly, you know, over the past couple of weeks, we've had it here locally uh, to some extent, you know, Alex. And in the middle of that, I think that people are feeling a, a, a lot of different things. I think their emotions are all over the place fear, anxiety, the unknown of even what tomorrow brings. First, like you said, there's COVID and all the different implications with that and the things that we're dealing with and, and trying to stay within the guidelines of making sure that Kern County stays well and that you know we're following the things that we need to do for that, which is just, it, it's, it's not an, an ending thing. It's something that's ongoing with us every day. So there's a lot of struggle with that. But then on top of that, all of the unrest with the, the tragedies that are going on across the nation, it's affecting all of us, even on a local level. And I think, you know, individually is where this has to happen in, in our own hearts, in our own minds. And that's why I love, you know, this Monday morning, we take a minute, like you said, to pause and to think about what what is happening with our own selves in this, in the middle of all of this. And I think, you know, I would just say that it's within our own heart, you know, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Bible yeah. tells us that. And, and I think that the unrest and the stuff that we feel um, we got to consider others. We, I, we, we need to be very mindful of just our own, not only our own selves, but the people that are right around us and how that right. we could make a difference in the middle of the unrest, in the middle of the anxiety, in the middle of the fear. One person can always make a difference. And, and you may be the person that's feeling it, or you may be the person that actually has some peace and some ability to speak into the lives of others. You know, I, I love how the Bible tells us, you know, that we need to live in harmony, that we need to have the same concern for everyone. There, there's no level of where we should be with people. It's, it's having the same concern for everyone. And, and, and Philippians 2, 3, it says this, and I love this line because it's so simple, Alex. It says, consider one another. And if we really took the time to consider one another in the middle of this, we're going to make different decisions, even on a personal level. It has to go from our head to our heart to our hands. And in the middle of that, I think just trying to um, not allow ourselves to be consumed with the unrest, consumed with the unknown, even though we're human, we know it's there. In the middle of it, taking heart and finding that place within ourselves where we can say, you know, what, what, what is our faith about? How do, how do we, you know, manip how do we uh, go forward in this, in this right. faith that we have in, in order to say, let's be strong together and let's help each other. That's huge. I've got to ask you really quick. There are a lot of voices right now. There's a lot of people talking about their opinions. There's a lot of people that um, are very passionate about where they stand on whatever side of the aisle you're on, on any of these issues. What is your message to the people, to people who may be passionate about where they stand on any issue and just continue to voice their opinion, but not necessarily listen to what the other side has to say. Yeah, well, I think being passionate about anything can be a really good thing, uh, Alex. You know, uh, being passionate about something, though, doesn't mean that we cross lines and we cross over into other people's lives and into their livelihoods and, and we cause innocent people to suffer in the middle of our passion and our opinions because everybody you know, everybody's gonna have their own opinion as well they should. 
within themselves, they have to find out where they stand. I think we should always have ears to hear, you know, and we should have ears to listen. Listening is one of the greatest attributes that any of us will ever have. But in the middle of that, I think that I would just say, even as you're passionate about what your opinion may be, finding yourself again, measuring, are you considering the other people around you? Are you truly thinking about not just yourself? Because that scripture that I mentioned to you there in Philippians 2, 3, it also goes on to say, without selfish ambition or conceit. Consider mm -hmm. one another's without selfish ambition or conceit. And if we truly do that, just as a person, no matter what all the, that we're on, no matter what opinion that we have, it is always about each other. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, finding ourselves and centering on that, we're going to find ourselves in a much better position as a community when we think of that before we act, before we speak, before we do. And that to me is mm -hmm. basic. We've yeah. got to consider one another Absolutely. and live in harmony the way that we're called to. Pastor Robin Robinson, thanks so much for uh, joining us this morning, letting us uh, pause and, and reflect on, on this situation. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next Monday. Okay, thanks so much, Alex. Good right. to talk. Take care. All right. We're